Heavenly Father, we ask for your help to figure out where these electrons should go on the energy shells. Please bless us, guide us, and bring us closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hydrogen is in period one, so it has one energy shell, or you can call it one circle. We're not going to be explaining how to calculate the nucleus. That's taking place in other videos. Thank you. The hydrogen atom is in period one, so it has one energy shell. The atomic number is one, so it has one proton and also will have one electron. The group number is also one, so that means it has one electron in its outer shell, and in this case, hydrogen has only one shell, so it has one electron on its only shell. The helium atom is in period one, so it has one energy shell. The atomic number is two, so it has two protons and two total of electrons. The group number is 18, but the group 18 has full outer shells. Helium is full with only two electrons in its only shell. All the other outer shells are in group 18 are full with eight electrons, and that is the octet rule. The lithium atom is in period two, so we have two energy shells. The atomic number is three, so we have three protons and three total electrons. The group number tells us how many electrons we have on the outer shell. The group number is one, so we have one electron on the outer shell. We build from the inner shell, which is full with two, and then when that's full, we build out to the next shell. The beryllium atom is in period two, so it has two energy shells. The atomic number is four, so it has four protons and four total electrons. The group number is two, so we have two electrons on the outer shell and for a total of four electrons. The boron atom is in period two, so it has two energy shells. The atomic number is five, so it has five protons and five total electrons. The group number is 13, so we have three electrons on the outer shell for a total of five electrons. The group number indicates how many electrons are in the outer shell. We calculate it by taking the group number, which is 13, subtracting 10, and we have three electrons on the outer shell. The carbon atom is in period two, so it has two energy shells. The atomic number is six, so it has six protons and six total electrons. The group number is 14, so we have four electrons on the outer shell for a total of six electrons. The group number indicates how many electrons are on the outer shell. We calculate it by taking the group number, which is 14, subtracting 10. We have four electrons on the outer shell. The nitrogen atom is in period two, so it has two energy shells. The atomic number is seven, so it has seven protons and seven total electrons. The group number is 15, so we have five electrons on the outer shell for a total of seven electrons. The group number indicates how many electrons are on the outer shell. We calculate it by taking the group number, which is 15, subtracting 10, so we have five electrons on the outer shell. The oxygen atom is in period two, and it has two energy shells. The atomic number is eight, so it has eight protons and eight total electrons. The group number is 16, so it has six electrons on the outer shell. The group number indicates how many electrons are on the outer shell. We calculate it by taking the group number, which is 16, subtracting 10, so we have six electrons on the outer shell. The fluorine atom is in period two, so it has two energy shells. The atomic number is nine, so it has nine protons and nine total electrons. The group number is 17, so it has seven electrons on the outer shell. The group number indicates how many electrons are on the outer shell. We calculate it by taking the group number, which is 17, subtracting 10, so we have seven electrons on the outer shell. The neon atom is in period two, so it has two energy shells. The atomic number is 10, so it has 10 protons and 10 total electrons. The group number is 18, so it has eight electrons on the outer shell. 
The group number indicates how many electrons are in the outer shell. We calculate it by taking the group number, which is 18, subtracting 10, so we have 8 electrons on the outer shell for a full outer shell and fulfilling the octet rule. The sodium atom is in period 3, so it has 3 energy shells, or we can also call them energy circles, or quantum levels. The sodium atom is in period 3, so it has 3 energy shells. The atomic number is 11, so it has 11 protons and 11 total electrons. The group number is 1, so it has 1 electron on its outer shell. The magnesium atom is in period 3, so it has 3 energy shells. The atomic number is 12, so it has 12 protons and 12 total electrons. The group number is 2, so it has 2 electrons on its outer shell. The aluminum atom is in period 3, so it has 3 energy shells. The atomic number is 13, so it has 13 protons and 13 total electrons. The group number is 13, so it has 3 electrons on its outer shell. The silicon atom is located in period 3, so it has 3 energy shells. The atomic number is 14, so it has 14 protons and 14 total electrons. The group number is 14, so it has 4 electrons on its outer shell. The phosphorus atom is in period 3, so it has 3 energy shells. The atomic number is 15, so we have 15 protons and 15 total electrons. The group number is 15, so we have 5 electrons on its outer shell. The sulfur atom is in period 3, so it has 3 energy shells. The atomic number is 16, so it has 16 protons and 16 total electrons. The group number is 16, so it has 6 electrons on its outer shell. The chlorine atom is in period 3 and has 3 energy shells. The atomic number is 17. It has 17 protons and 17 total electrons. The group number is 17, so it has 7 electrons on its outer shell. The argon atom is in period 3 and has 3 energy shells. The atomic number is 18, so it has 18 protons and 18 total electrons. The group number is 18, so it has 8 electrons on its outer shell for a full valence shell. Potassium is in period 4, so it has 4 energy shells or 4 energy circles. The potassium atom is in period 4, so it has 4 energy shells. The atomic number is 19, so it has 19 protons and 19 total electrons. The group number is 1, so it has 1 electron on its outer shell. The calcium atom is in period 4, so it has 4 energy shells. The atomic number is 20, so it has 20 protons and 20 total electrons. The group number is 2, so it has 2 electrons on its outer shell.